All right, got the Kruger sluice all set up, good and level, front and back, and we've got seven point nine. If you come down a little bit more, it's 8.2. You want to do it in the center. So an 8.2 8 degree pitch. And I'll bring you back in a minute here and show you what we've got going on. Catch you in a minute. thing is nice all right so I have a bucket of cons and I have a bucket of super cons so some of you may know what that means well, most of you know what that means because you're watching the gold prospect and channel probably gold prospectors yourself but for those of you who don't know the cons are just when I go to the river um, one section I work is a lot of flower gold so what I'll do is I'll work some material get it down to black sands and you know just take a quick look at it and if I see gold I dump it from my pan in the in the tub and once it gets to be about as much as you see in there now it starts to get a little bit heavy in the backpack with all my other gears so I bring it back here and I dump it into another one of those until I get so much and then I'll run it through the Krieger sluice which breaks it down to what a tablespoon maybe four tablespoons into super cons and then I dump it into another bucket once I process it down and I collect it throughout the season so that is condensed down concentrated and has quite a bit of gold so I'm gonna run that first a couple times put it in there and then I'm gonna run that and that's when we're gonna see the real pretty stuff so let's get this party started shall we all right Time to fire it up. Got water level just where I want it. Now I've classified all of this, the cons and the super cons, down to minus 20. And I think that'll be pretty good. So I'm not going to bore you with running all of this because who wants to sit here and watch an hour of me sitting here running this thing? I don't think many of you do. You want to see the gold. All right, first bucket, just a straight cons run twice. Had a little conundrum. I was using one of those buckets underneath the tail end of this thing and I noticed that there was a bunch of black sand squirting out everywhere so I had to clean them out. Put that bucket in there, all good now. Don't know if you can be able to see it or not, but there's gold peaking inside that first ripple. I guess you can kind of see it peeking in and out. There's probably some in the other one too. Uh, all right, going to be a visitor coming to the door here pretty quick. Railroad Toy and Hobby will be in the house. Shout out to Josh Ortiz, your pan is being delivered to here, and then I'm going to be shipping it to you. Back in a bit. All right, we're back here for, there's the pan. And like I said, Railroad Toy and Hobby in the house. <laughs> so check this out. I might have put maybe 15 spoonfuls in. And you can see it in all those little circles. There's the other one right there. Can't see it so good in the 
shadowed side, but there's quite a bit of gold in here. Quite a bit of gold. Here's the first ripple, second ripple. Still got a lot more to run. I'm gonna keep at it. Getting down to it now. <laughs> oh boy. Looking good. Looking really good. For the sake of this phone, <clears throat> it shows you much better than the other camera. That is the 20 plus pieces from the season. This one right here, this flat, big one. Let's see if I can get it out of here without. Yeah, I got it. Shh. I love that sound. <laughs> So those are all the uh, 20 plus pieces from the season. And that is the material that I just took out of the Krieger sluice. And I'm, I'm just gonna have to set up the other camera and pan it back pretty quickly so you can get a look at it. And then I'm gonna try the Miller table again. I did a little something to it, a modification. So we'll see if that works. It's under the main workbench. But I don't know if I'm going to do that today or not, but to you it will be in the same video, so it'll seem like I did. But anyway, I'll set up the other camera, pan that back quickly, and you'll get a look. A lot of stuff in there. All right, let's see if we can do this. Hopefully I keep you in frame. I've tried tapping it up and doing all kinds of stuff with it, and I just can't. It doesn't, it just doesn't want to tap up. Quite a bit in there. stuff because that that spot that I work with all that flower gold showing up in the video with this camera but sure is pretty from my angle
So what I didn't like about the Royal Manufacturing Miller table was down here at the end of the skid plate. They should have brought the skid plate right to the end and maybe even made it slightly overhang, but they didn't. There's an L-shaped ridge right there, just maybe an eighth of an inch all the way across. And of course, what happens? You've got all kinds of black sand getting caught in that ridge. And then when you want to scoop your gold, like they tell you, scoop the gold, just scrape the gold down in there and suck up your clean gold. Well, it's not going to be clean because you've got all that black sand on that ridge. So shout out to Royal. You guys got some awesome equipment. You do. I love it. But you need to fix that up a bit. That should be, that should be flush with this drop you can't get clean gold out of that so what I did was took some marine adhesive sealant and went across there and I can still feel a little bit of a lip there so I don't know I don't know if it's gonna work or not I want my gold clean I don't want black sand in it so we'll give it a shot and see all right so I've got the Miller table set up and it seems to be working better now that uh, marine adhesive sealant that I put along the lip is working much better. I used to set it up over there on the rubber mat, and I think that's what the problem was with things going off kill. I don't know. It could have been. So let me start running some stuff here. It's really tedious. I think I've got a little bit of a system going now, but we'll see. I'll be back in a sec. Keep a real close eye on it because some of these pieces of gold are my new pieces of wire gold. They just roll pretty down. this theory before and it worked instead of shutting it off like they recommend with it running I lift that up
Well, you know how gold likes to stick to uh, silicone? Well, it sticks to this marine adhesive sealant, too. of it run yesterday but now what I should have done in the beginning which somebody I think um, shout out to Randy he actually had mentioned what are you gonna do blah 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 and he said something about magnets and I'm like ah spin it off tool but I never did it until the end so I'm gonna at this second run I've taken everything back out of the tub from running the Miller table so now I'm going to go ahead and use the spin it off tool and get the magnetics out of here to make it a little bit easier. And the camera just shut off on its own. sand.
turned on the scale, set the grams, tear that out. Hopefully I don't need two hands. Yeah, there's still some pieces on there. 3.01 grams. No, 3. 3.01. 2. Well, anyway, 3. We'll just say 3 grams. Like to do better, but I'm not going to complain. Gold's gold. Happy with it. Everybody wants some. You want some? Super greens. Good stuff. Good for you. Drink my fruit smoothie in the morning. Then I drink some super greens in the afternoon if I've got them. So, sponsored by Railroad Toy and Hobby. Wayne and Denise came through again. Y'all ought to check them out. Railroad Toy and Hobby on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description. A lot of good stuff. I keep telling you that. So, this time, going to be giving away this bag of stuff here. Jeweler's loop, little plastic shovel, snuffer bottle, and there's a pair of tweezers with a magnifying glass on them. So hey, just say, give me the bag. Give me the bag. I'll ship it out to you as soon as somebody wins. We'll do another video, do the drawing, and uh, we'll get that right out to the winner. So congratulations to all of you who stuck around long enough in this video. Never know when I'm going to do this. I'm going to drop it wherever, somewhere in there where you just don't know. So if you skip through, you might miss it. But anyway, I got some work to do. Catch you all later. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Putting it together. Oh, I've got a gold trap to ship out. It's going right here in Vermont, not far away. Shout out to Jim. Merry Christmas, your gold trap is on the way. Gotta go.